welcome back the fabulous LaToya Jackson. <laughs> furniture just I like know. on your show. I know. I love your audience by the way. Thank you. You guys, you guys are so colorful. I love this. Yes. It's just, and These are your people. Beautiful women. You're all so gorgeous. Hold your feet. We want to give you a little shoe cam. Just keep it just like that. Yes. Um, Latoya, all yes. right, so we know that you were just here a few uh, weeks ago, but yes. she was here to talk about Celebrity Apprentice. Today, we have the rest of the conversation. <laughs> okay, so Omarosa um, said that she's suing you. She called you lie, Toya, um, for defamation of character. What's the latest? Because I was telling you through the TV, just you know, write the letter, apologize, and end this mess. The latest, I was never, there was a letter sent. Yeah. And it was sent to my people, but it was not a lawsuit. It was a letter. And that's what it was. But she went on saying that it was a lawsuit, which it was never a lawsuit. Yes. And so I'm sitting back just watching this unravel. So that was much to do about nothing. Yes. Much to do about, like you said. And I just, you know, I'm one of these people that I like to live my life in a positive, I surround myself with positive people, and I want to stay there. And I don't like getting involved in the, in the, just the nonsense of the negativity that surrounds certain people. Yes. I just refuse to be a part of that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And we see, we see that you like to live your life on the happy side. Yes. Congratulations on your reality show. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I've you watched. Lot. Thank you. Um, why did you decide to do reality TV? I wrote a book starting over, as you know, and in the book, I go through the process of telling the women and everybody how abuse is and how you can free yourself and the whole bit, and I thought I would never escape it or get away, and I was able to do that, and the women would come up to me in the streets, and they would ask tons of questions. How did you manage to get away from this? Because what they do- It was a long time, though. I mean, it, it it, was you were trapped in that. This is the marriage she was trapped in. He since yeah. passed on. Yeah. Uh, Jack was his name. Yes. Now. Um, you were married to Jack for how long? Too long. Oh, too long. Too, no, really and, too long. Uh, but here's the thing. He was physically abusing you. Yes. I've seen pictures of you with black eyes yes. before. Yes. Um, Locking uh, me in closets, verbally abusing me, making me do things totally against my will that I would never do. Can I just when ask I you went, something? Sure, of course. Because I only have one brother, but if I had 120 brothers like you, <laughs> there would be at least three of them that would get together yeah. and, and come rescue me and serve beat Everybody downs. Everybody says that. And I, no, she's, no, I understand you. Why? There Tito was, looks like he could do something. <laughs> Tito tried one time. There were threats. Whenever my brothers would try to come and capture me, there was a more another beating, capture. another beating. Yeah, well, th there was another beating. And what they did was he instilled fear in you, and he controls you mentally and, and your self-esteem and your self-worth. And I know a lot of women have gone through this and probably are still going through this. And you just don't... You, you, I, they take away everything from you, meaning your being. And I want women to know that you don't have to live like this. When someone hits you one time, ladies, that's one time too many. You must get away. You must get okay. away. And by the way, on the reality show, I enjoy your relationship with uh, Paris Hilton's mom, Kathy Hilton, your yes. best friend. Yes. I enjoyed seeing your mom, Catherine, in mm -hmm. a happy space. Because we never see Mrs. Jackson talking and kind of being happy. It's always about doom and gloom. Yeah. She's happy. She likes candy. I like candy. You <laughs> like candy. Yeah. Candy. Yes. And, um, okay, so we saw Michael's kids yes. were in one of the episodes, Paris and Prince. Yes. They were in the second episode. Are they yes. going to be appearing regularly? No, everybody thinks that they're part of the show. No, absolutely not. And this is something that I wanted hands-on. I didn't want them to be a part okay. of the show whatsoever. They were in Indiana when I was in Indiana, and we were at the baseball field, and I run by and say hello to them and keep going. Yes. <laughs> oh, by the way, is Blanket's real name Blanket? Do you call him Blanket or his name no, like Jerome? No. <laughs> I'm just asking. Everybody's got nicknames. Is, is, is Blanket his real birth certificate name? We call Blanket Blanket, but his name is Michael Jackson. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> laugh is everything. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Michael Jackson. His name is Michael Jackson.
that's it. Yeah. Okay. How do you think Michael would feel? Because you know he shielded the kids mm -hmm. with the with the scarves and blankets and stuff when they were younger. Yes. And now you've got your nephew on extra, and your niece is mm -hmm. gorgeous, yes. and and blanket is coming into his own. Yes. We see you have that. to remember that. They know what their father wanted for them. They knew, uh, Prince knew that Michael wanted him to be a director. Prince wanted to be a director. They were taking classes being directors. Oh. And he wanted him to do a certain thing at a certain age. He's of that age and he wants to follow through what his father wanted him to do. Not to mention that he loves it as well. But you have to remember, you're dealing with a kid that's 16 years old, that has a girlfriend, that drives a car. You can't keep a mask on a guy that age. We didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks for the ticket. <laughs> now listen. Latoya, I have to ask you a question. Go ahead. And it's based on your friend Kathy Hilton, because I've been watching the show. <laughs> Kathy asked you if you were a virgin. You got emotional and ran out of the room. Are you a virgin? Wendy. At, at 56. Wendy, I love Wendy so much, but guess what? I don't kiss and tell. You're gonna have to wait and watch the show. Okay, can I give you can I give you, can I give you my perspective? Yes. I wanna give my perspective. Wait, I want to give my perspective before we go into a break. This is what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. because you got very emotional and then you left the room yes. with your best friend, Kathy Hilton. Yes. My, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, she's not a virgin, but she was sexually violated many times by your ex-husband, Jack. My, my ex. And you said you were, ex, you've never been in love. I've never been in love, no, never. I've never been in love, but you know, there's love out there. Perhaps I will find it. <laughs> Your brother, Jermaine, we talked about this in Hot Topics. He legally changed his name, his last name. Instead of Jackson, the way you all spell it, he went to be different and put a U in there. J-A-C-K-S-U-N. Wendy, I don't know why. What is going on? I don't know why. You're, I don't know why. You gotta ask Jermaine that. I don't know why he changed his name. I mean, it sounds and sounds the same, doesn't it? Yes. I don't know what the reason for. Is he trying to alienate himself from the family, <laughs> thinking we won't know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, it's time to get to know Latoya a little bit better. We're gonna do our special installment of Fave Five, the Jackson edition. Hit it. All right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Latoya, yeah. um, what is your favorite Michael Jackson video? Say, say, say. Say, say, say. With Paul McCartney. Yeah, it's, you know why? Why? Because Say, Say, Say has a little history behind it. It's, it's a video that Michael and I did together and I had those memories with it, with Paul McCartney. And we did it out in, at the time, it wasn't called Neverland. And Paul was staying there and it was like a little shack and with a lot of land. And Michael says, I'm gonna buy this property. I said, no, you're not. I said, why would you want this junk? He goes, you'll see, I'm gonna buy it and fix it up. He bought it, he fixed it up, he called it Neverland and that's where he ended up being. Thank you for the story. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Okay. Your favorite Jackson pet? Bubbles. <laughs> Bubbles. Oh. Is Bubbles. Bubbles still in the family or did you send him to a reserve? No, Bubbles is in Miami. Is, yes. Who's and he I, living I, with? I just went to visit him. He's, he's at a little zoo a, a, in reserve. Miami that's very private because when they get older, you can't have them anymore yes. because their power is so strong. They're strong. Now, yeah. when people visit the zoo, do they know that it's a Bubbles Jackson? Yes, they do know. It's very private. It's a private place okay. that he's at. Yes, okay. they do. Thank you for that. She's yeah. full of hot topics, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your favorite TV show to watch with your mother, Catherine? That would definitely be Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, you can't say ABC, because okay. that's top of mind, but okay. your favorite Jackson 5 song. Okay, can't say ABC, it'll be I Want You Back, because the very first. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then Never Can Say Goodbye, because I would get so sad when the brothers would leave and go on tour. Yes. And then also that song was written by Clifton Davis. Do you guys remember him? Yes. Yes, he wrote that. The actor. Yes. Oh, how very nice. I know. Latoya, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank you. Listen. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. I wish you well in finding love, and I wish you well in life. This is Latoya Jackson, everybody. Thank Check you. out Life with Latoya, Saturday nights at 10.30 on OWN.